what's up guys what's up what's up happy sunday it is may 24th i don't even know when is the last time i did a video but i mean who's really counted who's really like monitoring that so let's not even talk about that but i am here today I just washed my hair and I was like, yeah, I need to chat with Alia while I wash my hair. Well, actually, while I style my hair. I just washed it and I have been experimenting with washing and gold, so. And today I want to try a different combo. <laughs> Something I never tried before. So I am going to use, I've never used this product before. This is a Cantu avocado leave-in something. Cantu avocado hydrating repair leave-in with olive oil, aloe, and shea butter. And this is the consistency. So that's what it looks like. And yeah, so hmm, I felt slippery on my hair. Okay, okay. And then, what's my go-to gel? I mean, what's my go-to gel? If you've been around for a long time, you know, <laughs> it is extreme, extreme. Okay. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the souffle for shine. Just a little bit because you know this gel is really finicky. Really finicky. So right now there's nothing in my hair. It's absolutely nothing in my hair. So, And I have been doing a side part. So let's part it. So, what's been going on with y'all in this quarantine streets? How y'all been holding up? How y'all holding up? Gosh, I hope that everyone is well and you guys have not been directly affected by this disease, this virus. Oh, and my hair dry already. It dry already. All right, let me start sectioning. Get into this, get into this. Let me section off my hair. In case you don't follow me on Instagram, then you will not have heard me rave about my new detangling beast which is the um, Felicia Leatherwood brush. I have the black and I have a red. I bought the red first and when I realized how fantastic that brush is, I was like, I gotta have another one. I gotta have another one before it's sold out and I could never get it again. All right, so let's get into this. Let's get into this. I have been doing okay, thank God. Thank God I have not been directly affected by COVID, nor anyone in my family. I have to thank God for that. And um, cause it's, it's been crazy out here in the streets. It's been crazy out here in these streets. A lot of people have lost so much. So, you know, my prayers really going out to folks who have been displaced from their jobs or perhaps lost a family member or friend. So, my prayers goes out to you guys. But thank God I've been doing okay. Yo, my hair, y'all, my hair just loves to tie up with each other. 
Jesus Christ, look at that. Them don't tie up together, yeah? Tie up together. Oh, it's so annoying. So, thankfully, I have still been working. Work has been quite busy. That feels really nice. That feels really nice. That really glide on my hair. I'm going to put a little bit more. So yeah, I have been working. I have been working a lot. And um, I can say, I can say, well, I want to say I have paid off all my debts, but <laughs> there's one last debt that I technically have not by the bullet as yet because I'm keeping the money in my savings account. I'm putting the extreme gel right now. I have been very particular about what I do with my reserves because God forbid, you know, something happens. I just didn't want to not have any money in reserves. So, try to see if there's any white residue and it's really hard to tell. I wouldn't know until it dry whether it flake. And I'm going to put a little bit of the souffle on top and then I am going to what do you call this? What do you call this? Uh, shingle? I think you call this shingling, right? Anyways, um, so I have the money sitting in my savings account until we get back to some form of normalcy, whatever that is going to look like. Um, I'll just keep making the minimum payment and then once I feel like we're, we're past the storm, then I'll just pay it off. And the good thing about this account is that it's interest free. So, so that's a good thing because I just don't want to use up all my reserves. So I'm going to wait to just bite the bullets and pay off that last account. One of the reasons why I started back doing wash and go is because, you know, my hair shrinks up a lot. I have massive shrinkage. And so it's at a, yo, my hair feels so dry right now. Like, what conditioner did I use? Jeez, like what the hell? Anyways, um, so I feel like my hair is at a length right now where even after it shrinks up, I still have good length. So, because I'll show you guys when my hair is dry, you'll see how much it shrinks. It shrinks quite a bit. So. But it still, it doesn't shrink to the point where it looks crazy, you know. And you know, shrinkage is not really, like I'm not like one of those people who like will go to lengths to avoid shrink shrinkage. I mean, it's just part of my, the nature of my hair. I have, my hair just shrinks a lot. That's just how my hair is, so... Anyways, um, so yeah, so the debt-free journey has gone great. It took me longer than I would have liked, than I had catered for, but you know, that's okay. At least I made it here. I made it here. 
Yo, this sleeve has so much slip. I am really, really impressed because you see how dry my hair is starting off. And look at the slip and this brush. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this brush. Put some more leave in on there. So yeah. What's been going on in these YouTube streets? Girl. <laughs> you know, I still keep up with what's going on in these YouTube streets. People divorcing, people cheating. I think the last time I did a video, we spoke about Nikki and whatever that guy's name was. And then, oh, I forgot to put the souffle. I forgot to put the souffle. <laughs> Put some souffle on top of that. So, since then, we've had Tony and the boy. And this, this is just, this is not hearsay. Eh? All of this is from them putting it out there. So, you know, Tony and the boy. Boy, that was some drama. <laughs> Jesus, these men, yo, these men. And now the latest is Natural 85 and Felipe. Did you see that coming? Because I certainly didn't see that coming. I really didn't. Huh. You know what I love about people? <laughs> people used to be like, in the comment section, right? They used to be like, Oh, Felipe is such a good dad. I really love... I really love how he is with the kids. Relationship goals. Hashtag relationship goals. And then now... <laughs> yeah, dirty bastard. I never like him. I never like the way he talked to Whitney. I'm fat ass. <laughs> Yo, I'm not laughing at Whitney, yeah? I'm not laughing at her pain at all because trust me. Oh, I cannot imagine. I cannot imagine what she went through, what she's going through. Neither of these ladies. And fortunately for Tony, the fancy face, they don't have kids. But Whitney has two kids, young kids. So that's even worse because these fools, when you have kids, they have to stay in your life. Down there forever, right? No matter how old the kids are, he would always be the kid's father's father. So they have to stay in your life. All right, do you see how dry my hair is? I don't know if, you, if it's picking up the dryness on camera. You see how it's dry. It just dry. And then when I put this leave in on it look here look here so yeah so goodbye for these ladies you know this um covid this quarantine situation is really testing a lot of relationships yeah i think a lot of people who probably were in not so good relationships Prior to, prior to COVID, probably tolerated each other because, you know, they weren't seeing each other a lot. 
one was going out to work or they were both going out to work so they didn't have to see each other very often but now in these quarantine streets where you have to be in each other's face all day all night it's like wow am i really doing this am i really staying with this fool yep you kind of like question your you start to question your decisions be like i'm not happy like why am i here why am i here right and then they probably realize they don't really like each other after all. Another couple I hear is divorcing. Now this one is a real shocker to me too. Is um Latoya Forever and Adam. I don't really uh, watch her videos like that. I used to follow her because she has Trini family so oh, <laughs> my hand is tired and then I start to get lazy and then I don't shingle properly oh, and I don't do what I'm supposed to do okay let's try that again so and she now has small kids too three small kids and she uprooted her family and from Canada and moved to Atlanta Wow Wow no she I don't think as far as I know she hasn't made an official announcement that's just the word on the street that's just the word on the street so yeah Relationships are tough, you know. Relationships are hard. Every day I pray for mine. So this one side is done. I don't know how I'm feeling yet about you know if you think this is shrunk right now wait till you see when it dry because this is where my hair is now um, so it's coming to come it's coming to come I feel like the front of my hair when I was before I had cut off all my hair, the front used to flourish more than the back. And this time around, the back is flourishing more than the front. I feel like the front is just not growing. You know, I mean, look. I mean, look at these. Look at these here. I feel like they just, the front is just stagnant. So at night when I remember, I try to oil my scalp, my edges, but <sighs> yo, doing this here, you know how many days I just want to cut it. I mean, getting the detangling brush has been a saving grace because prior to me getting the detangling brush, it was pressure. Pressure to detangle this hair. Oh my god. It's horrible. I have been I've had the opportunity to catch up on a lot of shows. And um I had asked you guys on Instagram for some recommendations and one of them was Little Fires Everywhere. That was good. That was real intense. I enjoy that. And now I am watching Hand, Handmaid's Tale. Handmaid's Tale. 
I had tried to watch Handmaid's Tale in the past and I just couldn't I couldn't get into it I couldn't get into it I was completely lost so that was like last year or sometime so then I was like okay let me give it another try and I guess I am ready this time because wow that's going really good so far I'm really enjoying that and what else have I watched? Money Heist. I watch all the seasons of Money Heist. What else I watch you? Yeah? I've been watching all kind of shit, yeah? <laughs> the past the time. I've been catching up on some books. I only do audiobooks because I just I really don't have the time to sit down and read. So I listen to audiobooks in my car. Because I'm always on the road. And then by the time I come home, I'm so tired. I don't want to pick up a book. So the, easy, the easiest way for me to read is to listen to an audiobook. So I've been catching up on some books. And um, yeah. So nothing much new has been going on in my life, guys. Everything's pretty much been the same. When the market crashed in 2008, 2009, I was in a really bad place. I was in a really bad place financially because I was hit hard. And I, and I was like, this will never happen to me again. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, this here, this here. <laughs> I was like, this will never happen to me again. Because I lost a lot. And this time, I was prepared. This time I was prepared. Because I have my emergency account. I paid off most of my debts. Okay, so I see what's happening with this leaving. I come over to this side and my hair was like pretty dry and that stuff just sat on there. It just sat on there. It didn't even move. So mind you my hair was already detangled, yeah? I know I'm all over the place in this video, but you ain't come here to see no structured content. You ain't come here to see no fancy editing. You just come here to listen to me ramble on about stuff. Ain't nothing changed when it comes to that. <laughs> I'm still the same Lisa that rambles on about bullshit. <laughs> Nothing there has changed. Anyways, um, this crisis here has really reminded me of how much I am glad that I really made a decision to get my financial life in order, pay off my debts, have an emergency account. And guys, I'm telling you, after this is over, if you're not there, please, 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 you have to, you have to now, if, if this didn't wake you up as to how much is important for us to get out of death. Sorry, my camera stopped recording because it has that like an automatic stop after it reach a certain time limit I guess I've been talking for a while Jesus <laughs> yeah so if this has not made you guys want to become financially set I don't know I don't know what will like yo this pandemic 
has hit every single body, everybody, one way or the other. And I see a lot of people still shopping a lot and stuff. And I'm just like, yo, your finances must be set, okay? Because if you are here shopping in these COVID streets, all your shit must be paid, okay? Yes, I'm judging. I'm judging. I'm judging you. I'm judging you. No, no shopping. You can't be shopping right now. I did some shopping, but you know why I could have done some shopping? Because all my bills are paid, yo. I am debt free. I am debt free. And I can still pay my mortgage. I don't have to file for forbearance. Thank the Lord. So I can afford to do a little bit of shopping. But if you're not in that situation, your ass best not be shopping out there. Your ass best not be shopping out there. Okay? You need to take care of your business first before you go supporting other people's businesses. All right? Same. Anyways, I ain't go. Oh. It's my fault. I should have put my leave-in conditioner in the hair, in my hair, while I was in the shower. But I wanted to come do this shit on camera, so now the hair is dry. And it's just a matted mess. So, and sometimes I lose patience. Sometimes I lose patience. Oh, God. hold on, guys. I just really needed to wet it completely in order to separate the hair. Anyways. So speaking of shopping, I told you guys I shop, but I really only shop with this one company because I've been wanting to give them a try for a long time. And it's Honey Honey's Handmade. I got mostly skin body products, soaps and skin care, not skin care, um, body butters. I placed the order since May 1st. What's the date today? It is May 24th. They sent me a tracking number and every time I check it, it said oh, label created, which means they have not even shipped the items as yet. Now I know people complain that they take forever to ship, but geez, I they just did not expect it to take this long. Man, I did not expect it to take this long, yo. So anyways, when it come, I'll let you guys know what I got. I'm just leaving. This leaving is nice, yeah? This leaving is nice. See this part of my head up here? Is the coarsest part of my hair. You see how you see this? You see that? Yeah. See how that just glide through. But I think it's quite ridiculous for a company to take so long to get your products to you. A whole month. So they probably, and the thing about them is they have so much say, oh, I forgot to put the souffle. I forgot to put the souffle. And the thing with this company is that they have so much sales all the goddamn time. And it's like, why are you having sales all the time, yo? You can't service people like that. So, guys, <laughs> I'm tired now. My hand hurts me. Oh God, 
And then after this, I have to dry it. So, I dry it on, first I use a diffuser and I dry it um, medium heat, medium to high heat because I don't have time to sit down and hold the dryer for an hour. So I use medium to high heat. And then depending on how much shrinkage I get, I will blow out the roots. Or typically what I've been doing lately is I will band it at night. Which is my preferred method to stretch my hair. And that's been working. I mean, I still shrink up once I take the bands out, but not as much as it would be without it. You know what I mean? So, I try to make sure that the gel is really. Um, all the way through the ends of my hair because the ends and them like to marry each other and they like to create knots. I was doing twist outs ever since I went started by growing my hair and I find like I lose more hair when it's time on wash day. I lose more hair when I do twist outs. You see the bottom of my hair back here, like the the most bottom of the nape of my neck back here. It always tie up with each other. They always tie up with each other. So. Last set. Last set. So did you guys watch the clash last night with Billy Man and Bounty Killer? Yo, God, that was fire. Oh my God, that clash was so good. I think I enjoyed their clash the most out of everybody. I enjoyed Erica Badu and Jill Scott. But you know, that was more like a lay back, chill, let's have a drink, have a smoke, <laughs> you know, but last night it was a mashup scene, mashup scene, yo, mashup, mashup, and I think what made it great too was that the fact that they were in the same room. And to, to, to see these guys together like this after all of the rivalry in the past, it's just friggin' amazing. You know, Jamaica represented yesterday, okay? Jamaica represented. Try for these here to be like individual strands of hair rather than like stuck to my scalp which is why I have my head kind of like bent over so because otherwise it would be flat on my head Whew. so these are the finish results like I said, I'm going to dry and let's hope that um, let's hope that the results are nice. But yeah, so back to the clash. I sorry, I, I digress all the time. When the police showed up, <laughs> I was like, no! And then Bounty Kala was like, fuck this, I am out of this bitch. <laughs> he was 
was gone. He was gone. I'm sorry. That was classic, yo. That was classic. And Benny Matt was like, you want to be this person? You don't want to be this person. You know, you don't want to be this person. You know, we broadcast it internationally. You don't want to be this person. I was like, Lord, please don't let a fight break out on international TV. Okay. Might as well be TV. I was like, Lord, don't let a, don't let a fight break out. Lord, no. Thank God. That resolved itself without any issues. Cause I was like, cause I was like, they must have gotten police permission to have a gathering of that size because you know there was a lot more than ten people there. You know that, right? I need to stop playing in his hair and go dry it. Oh God. <laughs> So basically, it's like, I don't know, 60% dry, um, like the roots are still very wet, so I'll leave it, I'll leave it now, and then, like, tonight, I will come back and just like, see if the roots are still wet, if the roots are still wet then I would put the dry to my roots but this is basically the finished look right here so um yeah I'm gonna upload this video because it's already it's so long and then I would post another video in the week letting you guys know how this product holds up I'll also show you how I um, band it tonight so, but for the most part this is how my hair kind of like looks throughout the week <laughs> you see how much it shrinked but the key now is to keep my hands out of my hair so that it doesn't get frizzy and that is the hardest part but anyways I'm happy with the results we'll see how um, the moisturization holds up so anyways I'm gonna go edit this video upload it for you guys so you can have it done this Sunday here and then tomorrow or later in the week I'll post a follow-up